What's up YouTube? So I'm just gonna jump straight into this video. What I'm gonna show you today is how I am sealing up the rear quarter panels on this wide body FRS. It certainly isn't the only way to do it, is the best way. In my opinion, yeah, it's the best way. So if you're gonna wide body your car, tag along, stay tuned, and I'll show you how it is done. So the first thing I'm gonna do is rip out this paneling on the side that we are gonna be working on, just so we can get to the back side. So now we can easily get to the back side of that. Next up, I'm gonna take a grinder wheel, clean up all the paint on the body itself, and then on here too, where we're gonna be welding. I'm not a professional welder, but I think it's common sense that the paneling needs to be cleaned. Whatever you're welding needs to be cleaned. From here, I'm just gonna grab this body hammer. You can use any hammer you want and just get everything bent back up into place exactly where we want it. All right, from here, it's time to start welding. We're gonna be packing each of these tabs up. So every single one of these tabs gotta come up. It's gonna take a minute to get all that. And if you haven't seen the previous videos where I was cutting all this, I would highly suggest you guys go check it out. Okay, now that everything's tacked up on there, I'm gonna take a cutoff wheel, cut off all the excess metal that we do not need. Next up, I'm gonna take this big ass grinder and smooth everything out, make it look pretty. It's not gonna be pretty yet, but it will be when we're done. something like that when you're all done. Guys, I know my welds blow, so go ahead and make your memes, whatever you gotta do to, to bash on me. They're pretty terrible, I know. Let's get to the next part. Alrighty friends, next up I have the seam sealer and this little putty knife with a, what is that even called? Hulking gun. So, what we're gonna do, I'll just show you. I don't need to explain it. I'm just gonna start at one end. Okay. 
any little cracks or holes you see and all of the weld fill it with the seam sealer. There we go, I cut the end off a little more. Now I can really get some come out. All right, now I'm gonna grab the putty knife just to make sure it's in all the cracks and holes. All right guys, I got all of the seam sealer on there. That's what it's looking like right now. Not too bad, not too bad. There's a few little high spots here and there with the seam sealer, but once it gets a little more dry, I may go over again with the putty knife and smooth it out more. If I'm really worried about what it's gonna look like under the wide body kit. I'd say not bad at all for my very first time ever sealing back a fender or a quarter panel. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below. But that is gonna wrap up this video guys. Really, really hope you enjoyed it and I really hope it helped you out. That's the whole reason I make all of these videos for you to try to help you guys out. So if you appreciate that, hit that subscribe button right up in that corner. Make sure you guys go check out the previous episodes of the Wide Body Build and I'll see you guys tomorrow. She was headed up to college to follow a dream Didn't really have friends, never played in the team So focused on school, she was hardly a teen Damn, living in her room, she barely left Hated being lonely, so she slept Only got up to study for tests And honestly, she don't really care about the rest Then, she met a dude Started going out, cause that's all he wanted to do He didn't care about her, just some bottles of booze He was focused on his last, never told her the truth Constantly used, grades started fading away She was giving everything what he would take and take Her first real love, but for him it was fake And she finally caught him over at his ex-girl's place No, she don't know what to do Cause loving this guy, that was all that she knew It's hard to find the next one when you're broken in two Broken and bruised, feeling like you're destined to lose But she never felt this way She never felt this way Grab another bottle, put it up to her face Rather cover all the pain before she ever would Say Always wanted something more, but could never begin, never fit in He was kinda lacking with friends, his favorite part about the day is when it would end Damn, so alone Spending nights in his room, nobody hitting his phone Always wanted to himself if he did something wrong The truth is that he was barely getting along Still, he never tell no one, he never tell no one But to take his own life before I'd ever begun Stuck in the run, tired of always being the run See, he was so sick of being laughed at Started hitting up the party saying past that Get a little bit high just to feel okay But all the pain he could barely even mask that No, not the whiskey or drugs Only losing yourself, you ain't fixing it up Pill in the cup, cheers man drinking it up Getting so high, he don't even know what's up But he never felt this way He never felt this way Really can't tell by the look of his face But inside see Dylan, he was begging to say <clears throat> What's going on guys? Welcome to the Q&A portion of this video. This is the third time I am recording this. The first time the mic was not turned on. I bought a new mic, so I didn't turn it on every time I use it and I didn't turn it on. Second time, it was super fuzzy because I had these settings all messed up on the mic. Third time is a charm, right guys? Okay, Q&A. I'm gonna smash through this so fast. We're gonna start with the YouTube channel first. I asked you guys on YouTube and Instagram. YouTube, let's find the video. First question on YouTube from Sam Howard. What made it, what motivated you to start doing YouTube videos? Great cards, by the way. Thank you, bro, appreciate that. What motivated me to start my channel? I want something a little bit different. There's a lot of car people that are, they come across as like super stuck up and I hope I don't come across like that. It's definitely not who I am as a person in real life. I wanted a page that was 
very down to earth, very humbling page. Um, and I also a page that kind of shows that you can do everything yourself if you put your heart and your mind to it. You can always accomplish anything yourself if you if you truly dedicate your mind to it. You can you can get it done no matter what. I see I see a lot of fitness pages like that that are you know super motivating and humbling at the same time. If that makes sense, it makes sense in my mind. So I hope it makes sense in your mind. Second question from Kenzel Acadium 408. Where is the merch at? LOL. As you guys know, I do have air fresheners, but I don't have it for sale anywhere because I don't have a website to host them on. So within a year, I'm not saying it's gonna take me a year to sell fresheners, but within a year, I want a full blown website with full merch hats, shirts, sweaters, air fresheners, stickers, whatever else I feel like creating, I'll have on a website within a year. So that's where the merch is. Artillo Rebelta, where's the next, or what's the next project after the FRS? What's the next project? Car after the FRS. Next project is the R1 build, my shoe bike. My next project, car. I don't even know. I'm still getting started, very beginning stages of the FRS build. So it's gonna be a while before I start on a new car project. Next question from Sue Blake, asking if I can, it's a pretty long question, so I'll sum it up. Pretty much asking if I can do a detailed video on powder coating. Definitely. The first two videos I've done, I've done one on the Evo wheels, then another one on the winter wheels for Bobby's car, the WRX wheels. But these VSXXs that are on the FRS, I'm gonna, gonna be redoing them completely. So anything from the prep work, which is sandblasting, getting them cleaned, in the oven, to powder coating, and I wanna do everything, even getting tires mounted at the tire shop near me. I don't have a tire machine, which I did. And even like rebuilding the three-piece wheels, I wanna do all that in a video, so that'd be pretty cool. That's a good idea, thank you for sharing that with me. Next question from Matt. Uh, pretty much asking, let's see, it's another really long question. What am I gonna do for like making it fast? Turbo, supercharger, and motor swap. And he said TJZ or RB would be pretty cool. So that'd be pretty awesome. Or an LS or a VQ. He has all sorts of ideas. Uh, I don't see myself doing a motor swap. Definitely want to boost it in the future. That's always the end goal is make it your car fast. So I could see myself doing a turbo kit in the future. I would definitely turbo it. Next question from Kevin Vines. You've built the bottom end of the Evo, so are you planning on going big turbo or have you decided against that? <laughs> I feel like I've answered this question so many times I just did this third, three times in a row. Uh, yeah, I definitely want to, to go big turbo on it, but it's expensive. I want to do the GTX 3582R. I think just that turbo is $2,000 alone. I'd also have to do cams. I'd do like GSD G2s and I'd have to do valve springs, intercooler, intercooler piping, turbos, or not turbos, fuel system, so fuel pump, injectors, probably the fuel rail, all that good stuff. It's a lot, a lot of money. So eventually I want to, if I can get some extra cash flow, maybe if uh, my crypto I'm invested in blows up here soon, then I'll have all the money in the world. Wouldn't that be nice? Next question from Three Cities, wrapper paint. Originally I was going to have that kit paint match to the car. I hate doing paint work myself. I know I just said I tried everything myself, but I, I don't really have a good shop to do it in. You kind of need a spray booth to get it turned out as good as I want it with no dust and all that BS in the paint. So I was gonna have someone else spray the kit to match the car, but I have been toying around with the idea of wrapping it or having it wrapped. So I did order some colors, a bunch of different colors in, just to see, like hold them in person and see what colors I like. Um, so I might have it wrapped, we'll see. And he also asked in another question, what color? And he says, I do not know. It, I don't know is not an answer. So since I can't say I don't know, I won't say that. So to answer your question, either paint matched, which would be the dark gray, or red is an option, a okay, cool red. Maybe I'll copy you with your highlighter yellow. How would you feel if I did that? It's probably how so loose feels right now. Ha! Got him! orange, blue, I don't know, about a million different colors. All right, let's jump over to Instagram page. Instagram, first question, Dodge CV18, can you do more wallpaper pictures on your story of all your cars? Yes, absolutely, I've seen other people doing this. Let me make sure this bike's on real quick. All right, all right, we're good to go. I've seen other people doing this with Instagram wallpapers, so they just put a picture on their story, it's awesome. So yeah, definitely. I have some pictures from back in the day that Garrett Church took. If you guys haven't seen him, he's 
a good photographer, I'll have him linked somewhere. And also Brandon watching this, I love him. So yeah, I'll definitely be doing that. What's next from Austin Finch? What's next for what, bro? For the FRS? Or for like a ne next car? I guess, I don't know why I'm asking you, you can't answer the question anyway. So I'll answer both. What's next for the FRS build? Sorry I'm talking so fast, I'm trying to get through this ASAP as soon as possible, it doesn't make sense. Uh, what's next for the FRS build? Get the fitment dialed in, get it aligned, get it to drive with not rubbing or any of that fun stuff that comes along with building a car and get it wrapped or painted. Uh, what's next for a car? I have no clue. Just like I already said in the YouTube comment or video Q&A. Birmingham Media, what's your favorite thing about modifying cars? Favorite thing about modifying cars, dumping all of this, these countless hours, blood, sweat, and tears, and all this money. Unfortunately, it does take a lot of money to build the car into the car and then seeing the end result when it's all finished up is crazy. It's definitely my favorite part. I hope that answered your question. Definitely seeing the end result. And I love doing everything myself. It's very satisfying compared to paying other people to do it. Next question um, from Quentin86. Why did you choose coilers for the wide body FRS instead of bags? I chose coils because I love the simplicity of them. I had air right on the STI and I don't know if you guys saw the video it was titled, Am I Bagging the Evo? I'll have a link to somewhere up top. So guys, go check that out if you want to know my thoughts on air ride. That, that video pretty much answered your question. Josh B 93 where do you get your ideas on how you want your cars to look? I pretty much have a certain style. It's like a very aggressive slash clean. And I'm the contrary. Is that, is that how you would say that? I don't know. I'm not a speech freaking English teacher, but I know. I, my style is a very aggressive yet simple, so I get my style from a lot of Instagram, car people, YouTube people, and then I just kind of throw my own twist and taste onto it. Dalton West 19, are you going to put a big wing on the FRS? Yeah, I would love to if I could eventually find what I like. I'm not really a huge fan of chassis mounted wings because they're not super clean looking in my opinion. The only thing I like so far is I wish APR made one that would fit or specifically for this car, but they don't. That is a GTC 300. They have like a 200 that's kind of lower, which does look pretty good, but I do like the Voltex head too, though. It's so beautiful. I do like the, that wing a lot, so maybe we'll go there. But for now, I'll do a trunk clip. Alex Helms, 9, 492. I said that wrong. When are we gonna see a video of the Foz getting down the stone? For starters, bro, I hope you're enjoying the STI. He bought my old 05 STI, the silver one. I hope that thing's treating you well. Hope you're treating it well. When are we gonna see a video? Very soon. I actually shot one the other day for a YouTube vlog type video of me smashing that thing around in the backfield behind the shop. So that would be a pretty fun video. Next video, or next video. Next question from Aaron Peterman. Are you going to boost it? Kind of already answered that in the YouTube section uh, eventually. I think that's everyone's end goal to 86 is to eventually boost it. So yes, definitely or not, def I'm not definitely gonna boost it. I definitely want to boost it though. Rated RS, is three cities BRG the same person as Luce 86, but moving really fast back and forth so it looks like two different cars? Uh, <laughs> probably. I don't know if you guys saw all the drama between them. It's kind of funny, I don't know. They're probably friends in real life, but just doing it to create more following and um, enjoying it in the car community. I think it's kind of funny. A lot of people think they hate each other, but I'm sure they don't. But to answer your question, yeah, they're, they're definitely the same person. Speaking of the devil, 3 Cities BRZ, why aesthetics instead of engine work? Uh, I still chose aesthetics first because that's just how I always do everything, I guess. Kind of is. I always choose aesthetics first. And if I want to go fast, I do have the street bike to, what this guy just say in a YouTube comment? <laughs> I just put a new YouTube video on. Okay, that's beside the point, but LOL, the way she popped in that white body kit. Don't you teach her that, oh, well. <laughs> That's a funny comment. <laughs> Just upload a YouTube video, guys. Go check it out. I'll have it linked up there. Um, okay, I went completely off topic there. I have no clue where I was. Anyways, next question from my girlfriend, Bobby Wallace. When can it race the Jenny, AKA the Genesis? Um, it can race the Genesis when you can keep up because, babe, I know I would destroy you in the FRS. Let's be real. So throw some exhaust on it, get the thing tuned, and then we can race because then you might have a chance because I can drive way better than you. Cameron Nimala, my brother. First thing, bro, 
congrats on the 40K. He just hit that 40K number on YouTube. So it's a huge milestone. I hope to be half that someday. That's insane. So congrats on that. His question, so how long have you been benching? I'm gonna answer this as a real question because I'm sur sure some people are interested. How long have I been benching? AKA how long have I been training for or working out? I've been training for like seven years. It's been a long time. I know you can't tell the results ain't shown, but I've been working out for like seven years. Uh, realistically training, knowing what I'm doing with the nutrition and all that, like four years. Next question from LB7 Blaine. Blaine or about want to race. Um, I'll race you on the street bike because that's the only thing that could keep up with your Duramax, bro. Next question from FB6 fam. Probably a new McLaren. What are they, the 570S? These things are insane, but realistically, in the future, in the future I can afford a McLaren, but in the near future, <laughs> just messing with you guys, these things are expensive. Near future, a dream car, get the FRS done, which will be done soon. But I want to afford an R35 GTR or a V10 Audi R8, that'd be sick. Next question from Skylar Payne, I kind of already answered your question on Instagram, but I always see your whips at American Auto Works. You work there or your parents own it? I'm assuming you're talking about American Way Auto Collision Center and my girlfriend's parents own it. Last question, jeez, oh, this is getting so long. BG Savage, do you prefer your FRS or Evo? I'm debating on selling my FRS to buy an Evo. Any advice, pros, cons? If I only could, if I only had one car, it would be the Evo, 100%. Because one, practicality, it's four door, it's all drive, so it's more practical for me. I do a lot of ship, shipping stuff, and the BRZ, or the FRS, I mean, can't really fit a lot in there. Number two, it's faster. It's fun to drive, it's super fun to drive. I freaking love that car. Three, um, if I ever have children, I guess. I'm not giving, I'm not saying anything. Bobby, if you're watching this, I don't want kids in the near future, but when I do have kids in the future, I would need a four door. So that is why I have, that's why I would choose the Evo or the FRS. Uh, sell your FRS to buy an Evo, yeah I would. But the only reason I'm building an FRS, I, I think they look insane. And it's a super good platform to build off of. Cause they can be, they can look crazy and they can be fast with some boost or mo motor swap. Anyways, that is gonna wrap it up. I answered everyone's questions, so this is, that means that this video is gonna be super long. Anyways, if you made it to the end of the video, really appreciate you guys. Really appreciate all the support you have shown me throughout the year. We're damn near close to 6K on YouTube and my goal for this year, I just said it a million times, my goal for this year was 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year. So I appreciate all the love. If you guys enjoyed the video, hit that subscribe button down below. Smash that thumbs up button down below as well. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.